to Game Smarter. Hello, 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 and welcome to the show. My name is Kyron Mountain, and today I thought we would do a quick Fortnite Switch settings look at. You know, basically, what are the settings, to my knowledge, the best settings for you to get the best settings for your Switch Fortnite gaming? Uh, one quick pro tip that I'll throw at you if you look at the top right of the corner right next to the fact that I have 100% battery on my Switch, a little squiggle. That means that I've plugged in my switch to Ethernet, and so I'm going to be getting a lot more of a stable frame rate, stable internet connection. The game just runs better. The other tip I would give to you as a Fortnite player on your switch is uh, if you have a memory card in the switch, actually delete Fortnite. If you haven't done this already, or if you're if you're not sure if Fortnite is actually saved to your your switch's system memory, all games it's it's a known fact that games play better when they're on the system memory rather than an SD card. And I think Fortnite's one of those games that if you're playing a fair bit of it, you're going to want to prioritize that it's on the Switch. And the simplest way to do that is to simply delete Fortnite from your Switch, uh, power it down, remove the SD card, power it back up with the SD card removed, download Fortnite then, all the updates, play it a little bit, make sure it runs, uh, and then shut down your Switch again or pop in your SD card and it'll tell you you need to reboot your Switch. While it's rebooting, pop in that SD card and uh, and that way all your other games will show back up. All your other games will be on the SD card, uh, but you need to make sure that the Fortnite is on the system memory. Now, we're gonna jump into the game itself. All right, so we're gonna go in here, we're gonna press the plus button, we're gonna go to settings, and we're gonna go all the way through it down. So uh, I think, I think I figured this out. This next little bit here is is a bit of legacy code or whatever for um, for playing because you get to actually change your sensitivity on the next screen. So we'll come back to that. We're gonna skip all that part here until we get to uh, invert view. If you really want to change the way your character looks up or down, um, think yaw, I think it's called in other games. Basically uh, it's, it's press forward to look down, press, back to look up versus pressing up to look up and down to look down. If, if you, if you're someone that needs the invert controls, I bet you know what that means. Uh, invert airborne control. So if you're flying a plane, uh, I do prefer to have the invert plane controls. Cause that's kind of, kind of where the whole idea comes from. Motion con motion is not enabled. I'm going to turn it on or off right here. Uh, I probably will be doing a video, if you want one, let me know, doing a video on how to set up your system for motion controls. I find when I play with uh, on the on the TV with my Pro Controller, um, motion controls end up screwing me up more, where when I'm playing on my Switch Lite in handheld mode, I uh, definitely need it. Um, yaw versus Roll, I believe Yaw is the one I prefer. Now looking at my motion control settings, um, I have this set really, really low. Uh, I believe this is basically when you're not targeting anyone, when you're not doing anything, but harvesting tool is a different thing. I have that one set to zero, so moving that won't work at all. Motion control, uh, when you're actually targeting someone, that means when you've got the, the ZL pulled and you're, you're targeting someone, I've got that pretty high. I've got even higher when I'm scoped, so I've got even more range of motion because I'm still moving with my, with my control sticks. I just ha don't have the opportunity to it gives me that extra little bit of an edge, right? Um, camera and display mode, anonymous mode. So what this does is it hides your name from other players. So if you're a streamer or if people are stream sniping you or if, if you want your, you don't want people to know who you are, I guess this is an option to turn that on. Same thing with hide other players' names. It'll show them as anonymous. Um, you can ch change your hidden matchmaking delay if you're a streamer and you're getting stream snipe. That's where you want to change it. You can change your HUD scale. I, I've never messed with this. If the HUD is too small, raise the number and the HUD will become bigger and you'll be able to read everything. If the HUD's getting in your way and you want to make it smaller, lower that number. The default is one and that's where I like it. Show spectator count. So if you, if, if you get pressure when you kill someone and, and you don't like that idea of someone watching you, you can turn this off. Uh, show frame per second. I usually like to actually have that one on. Uh, pings, mark danger when targeted, when targeting. I think this is basically, yeah, if you double tap the marker, it'll, it'll do this. Now, a lot of these control settings I like, uh, sprint by default, I have that off. Sprint castles reloading. Um, 
You know what? I've been wanting to play with that. I'm going to turn that on. Basically, what happens is if you're reloading and you're getting shot at or something and you want to run, hit that sprint, double click that, that thumbstick in and you'll start running and it'll cancel the reload. Otherwise, you'll try and run and you won't run until you're done reloading. So I think that's actually a good setting to turn on. Tap to search or interact. I thought about turning this on. If you're someone that just wants to like loot real, real quick, uh, definitely think about turning this on. Basically, when you come up to a chest or anything interactable and you have to hold the Y button, uh, that's this. If you want to just tap it and go and it'll do its thing. I like to be able to hold it because if I don't finish it, I want to be able to run away and, and, and hide or attack or something. I want to be able to, to swap that. Hold the swap pickaxe. I don't think this is something anyone really wants. You want to press it and switch. You don't want to press and hold and have it switch to, to the pickaxe. Toggle targeting. Now, this is something that if, if, if you have troubles holding down a button, this is something that's totally worth it. Uh, basically, right now by default, by having it off, I have to hold the ZL trigger button uh, to be able to scope in or, or, you know, come into focus and everything. Uh, if you want to just tap that, it just tap it once and you'll go into it. The only problem I find with it is that I forget to tap it again to pull myself out. Uh, reset building choice. So basically what happens is if you're not, I, I personally use Builder Pro, so this doesn't really matter because when I go into my builder, it's I've got four different buttons or four different structures to build. Um, but if you're someone who's using a different control setting, which we'll get to, uh, if you're using a different control setting, then this might be an option if you want to always go back to the same thing. Aim assist is on by default. You can't change that because that, you're on a console. Um, Edit mode aim assist. I don't know why that's defaulted on, uh, but it is. I don't think you can change it. Maybe that we'll get to a setting later on here. Turbo building, I think just have it on. Holding down the build button will automatically. So basically if you're building a ramp and you're going up, just hold the ramp button and you'll keep building. Uh, turbo delete in creative mode. I guess we don't need turbo delete in regular mode, which maybe makes sense because you can't delete things. Uh, controller auto run. That's basically your double click, unless you're going to assign a different button to your auto run. Auto open doors. Now, this is one that I tell everyone that's new to the game to turn on. Uh, I know I have a friend that definitely doesn't like it. And he was actually complaining to me. He's like, you know what I don't like about the Switch version? Because he has a PlayStation as well. The Switch version, I automatically open doors. And I was telling him, I said, that's because that's a setting I told you to turn on. I find if I'm running away from someone, I don't want to have to remember to open the door. I just want to run through. And a lot of the times... I don't care if the door gets closed behind me. And if I do, I can always stop, turn around, press the button and close it and then giddy up. Confirm edit on release. This is a new setting. Um, basically, I think what happens, the difference is, is if you let go of the button is when it confirms the edit. So you can hold the button and nothing will happen until you let go of probably A is the confirm button. And then that will make the edit go off. Uh, instead of pressing on the press, it's the release. PC gamers will totally know what I'm talking about. It's it's totally the difference. And it completely changes your game if you play on release or on press. Auto pick up weapons is I have it off. If I'm playing on handheld, not sorry, handheld mobile with the phones, I usually have this on. This is a really good setting for that. So if that's something you want, I find there's so much crap guns in the game. I end up picking a bunch of crap that I don't want. So I usually have that off. Auto sort consumables to the right. This is actually a setting I had on previously. I find it really useful because I, there's one another pro tip when you're playing it on any console, Build some kind of a hierarchy in your mind that has the placement of your items. I always have my shotgun, my shotgun is what I'll say, but it's basically my melee, my close range weapons, farthest to the left, that includes the pickaxe, which is all the way to the left. And then I move to the right uh, with, you know, mid range, long range sniper rifle. Uh, and then my last two slots, my next two slots are usually healing items or utility items and then that last item i love playing that battle royale not the battle royale but the realm the royale where you first to 100 kills so that last slot's usually a glider or something else if i'm playing regular builder pro build immediately i'm gonna turn that on i've been wanting to play with that and see what happens um instead of um when you switch a structure instead of it like showing you the outline it'll just try and build it right away if it can uh if it can't then it'll show you that it can't um hold edit timer i don't know i i 
you know what? I'm going to lower that because I want to be able to, oops, I want to be able to edit real quick. So I'm going to lower it down to about 160 and see what that's like. Don't take my word on it. Play with that if you want. F feedback. Now, this is interesting. I was thinking, I was asking some people on, on Reddit about Rumble and how important it is. And a lot of people turn this off. So you have the option to turn this off. I personally, I can't play without sound. I can't play without Rumble. I've grown up with it and it, it, it adds to the game for me. It doesn't take away from it. Power saving mode. Uh, if you're playing on handheld away from a power source, this might be a good option, but I will warn you, uh, you're, you're, I don't know this for sure, but I'm going to assume power saving mode is going to lower some of the quality of the game. That means your frame rate, your internet, whatever. And on the Switch, we can't we can't afford to lose anything. So I say run it in high power mode. Contextual tips, I would leave those on. They can't hurt, right? They're just going to help you. Now, sensitivity. I've changed this a bit. So the normal is, is, is four. I've raised them both up by two to normal plus plus. Um, I'm actually thinking I'm going to go even one step further to both of these. I want fast. I want them to move fast. Building mode sensitivity, a multiplier that is applied to the look sensitivity when in build mode. Uh, that's kind of cool. I think one plus five is good. I don't think you want to go much faster. I, I can already whip around pretty quick. Um, edit mode sensitivity. I don't think I want that out of, I, I haven't got good at editing. I think if you get to a certain level at editing, Definitely think about raising it. If you're having troubles editing and you're just all flying all over the place, consider lowering those. Uh, advanced options. Now, I'm gonna, for this tutorial, say stay away from these. I'll, I'll show them to you, but they're intimidating as heck and they even give you a warning. Like, you're gonna get into like the simplest, simplest of, of, of the tweaks, you know, horizontal versus vertical looking speed. Enable the setting if you want to ignore the boost ramp time when in build mode. Uh, see, like, there's a lot of little scary settings that I'm uh, just going to try and back out of this without making any changes. All right, so brightness, calibration. Now, this is something just for you, basically up or down until you want to see something. I had it defaulted at 50. I'm actually going to turn the brightness up to 60 because I've been having trouble seeing guys. There was a match earlier today where the guy was, he was standing next to, and it wasn't like a big cliff. It was just a cliff about the same height as him. If you were to build a one by one, it would just come flush with the cliff, but he was standing in a shadow and I couldn't, I, I saw someone shooting at him but I couldn't see who was being shot at. So I'm actually going to raise it up to 65. Uh, that might be just because I'm playing on a crummy display. Music, sound effects. If you want to change some of the values and change the mix, uh, I definitely think about it. I think Fortnite's one of those games that actually does pretty good with the balancing. But if you find the music's too loud, you can turn it down. If you want the sound effects, uh, I would even, you know what? I would take voice chat and I would turn it down to 90. If you use voice chat, I think you want the sound effects to be the most per... Uh, most prominent sound uh, in the game because it's the most important. Another pro tip for Fortnite, play with headphones. Uh, music, how often does music play in the game? Uh, and cinematics, I don't think you're ever actually in the game while those are running, so just leave them where they're at. Subtitles, I like having them on. You never know. I, I We got used to watching TV with little ones and having the subtitles on so that, you know, when the volume's really low, I can still understand what's being said. Same thing happens here. If you miss, miss something, you can see the words running by. And it only happens in cinematics. Visualize sound effects. Now, this is something, I'll read the actual tooltip here. Turns the visual radial indicator for some sounds on or off. When on, you will see the visual re reticle uh, indicator of some sounds, but in game sound will no longer pan or provide spatialization so uh i don't know why in handheld sorry mobile not switch mobile but like on your phone or your tablet this is on by default you can see you got a little circle on the screen and you can see where sound effects are coming from um but you still have great sound on mobile where on the switch or probably any other console i feel like uh, epic games fortnite decided that that's too much of an advantage so if you play with a sound off, I would definitely turn this on. You'll need this on. Uh, if you play with headphones, I feel like that's more important. So leave this off. But if, if that ever changes in the future, definitely think about turning it on. It gives you a huge advantage, especially when you're trying to hunt down chests and you start spinning around and you see the reticle. It's pretty cool. Voice chat, I have that on for now. Um, my mic is open. If I have 
push to talk yeah because the other option is push to talk so the game is actually pretty good at filtering sound levels and if you start talking it will it'll play otherwise it'll turn your mic off uh i don't think i'd want push to talk but if that's the kind of thing you want to do uh the switch you should know doesn't have a mic built in by default so you'll probably want a headset or something with a boom mic and you'll have to plug that into the actual headphone jack on the switch or there are some now some blue some some USB-C adapters to let you do it and all that such. I uh, I even found that I found a little USB audio um, driver. Basically, it's got a mic in and audio out. Uh, if you somehow work that into your dock, this would work for that too. And I think that'd be a pretty cool solution. That's kind of cool that I didn't realize the voice channel could be filled by game or by your party. So if you're playing on a full, I guess if you're playing with the uh, Gil 100 people, you could be in voice chat with everybody. Voice chat notifications, I definitely think those are worth having on. Basically what I think that means is when you've got the chat icons on the, on the bar on the side, they'll light up or not light up accordingly. Colorblind mode, I know some people definitely use this. I don't know enough about it to be telling you what you should or shouldn't be doing. Um, this is another place to be able to uh, visualize the sound effects. So it looks like they have that, that option in two places. Um, controller, I suggest just go Builder Pro. Uh, it, if you've been playing for a bit on old school or quick builder, just switch to Builder Pro, learn Builder Pro, and maybe um, affect some things there. The only thing I've noticed that when switching to Builder Pro from my custom is that I don't know what button I press to thank the bus driver anymore. And then the last one is about your account. I'm not going to show you because it's got sensitive information, but that's basically a rundown. I'm going to hit X to apply all those settings. That's a quick rundown of all the settings in the Nintendo Switch playing Fortnite today, tomorrow, um, basically in chapter two and beyond. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, go play something like Fortnite.